Hi, this is lesson number 31 from our Photoshop training series. In this exercise, we are going to learn about smart object in Photoshop. Basically, in the beginning, smart object is just a regular layer that we can convert into smart object and it preserves the detail. Here in the first example, I have image, this flower image I copied and if we will open the layer palette on the layer 1, this is the original image and here is a duplicate. To make it easy, we can just rename. I will select the layer 1, normal, this is the regular image and the copied image we can name smart object. It's just name and now we are going to convert into smart object. To do that, we need to right click on the layer and click on convert to smart object. On the thumbnail, you can see this layer is different and is having indication in the lower right corner. This is indicating that it is smart object. Let's reduce the size of both images. We will select both by pressing shift key. Hit enter. We just reduced the size and now we decided to make it large. If we will rescale again, normal image, the regular layer lost the quality. But the smart object image, it is same as it was before. As many times you will reduce the size and make it large again, it will remain same. So this is the first benefit of smart object. Here I have two images. Smart object we can use for mockup. In your image, in some specific place, if you want to display something hour and hour, you can do with the smart object. Here in this laptop screen, I want to display this image using smart object. We can select it, copy and paste or we can just click and drag. It is just a regular layer. We will right click and convert to smart object. Now this image is converted into smart object and it is having its own document, PSB document that preserves all the detail of this specific image. And this smart object image we have in our new canvas, it is not connected anymore with this picture. If I will close this, this image is having its own independent detail. Let's reduce the size and match with the laptop screen perspective by pressing control key. Hit enter. Now the new image is displayed on the screen. But if we will double click on this layer, we can add the detail in this specific layer PSB file. So if we will double click, in our screen we have another document. It is named with the layer and having PSB file extension. PSB is Photoshop big file. Photoshop document is PSD. PSD means Photoshop document. This PSB file is holding the detail of smart object layer. Once we will make any change in this image, automatically it will be updated in this canvas. Let's try to add some text. Click on text tool. Here we have text. We can change the font color. Before closing, we can save this file. Just press Ctrl S and then close it and look at this. It is updated here. Now the text we added in that PSB file, it is already here. And even if we want, we can replace the image. If I will double click, here we have another image. Just click and drag, match the size. Here is the previous image and here we have new layer. On the top of that we have text. We can change the location and once again quick save control S and close it and the image is updated here. This how smart object is very useful if you are using in mockup design. Here in this example I have another document. The background is filled with the gradient and there is a simple text. If you want to create this type of background, you can use adjustment layer. We can click create new fill or adjustment layer. Gradient. 
from the basic I can choose the gradient and if we want to change the color we can click here and we can change the color on both side slider click the left side click on the color let's try to add some light blue and this side I am going to choose dark color click OK so this is how we have a simple gradient background and this is a text to type text you can use a text tool click on the text layer and convert it into smart object right click convert to smart object let's add the reflection we can duplicate this smart object text click and drag on this plus so we have another copy just bring it under the original to make it easy we can rename ref reflection control t right click and flip vertical position it under the text hit enter let's add layer mask make sure that your foreground color is black using brush we can erase the lower part and still if we want we can control with the opacity we can reduce so this is how we have simple reflection since this text is smart object and here is a duplicate if we will change this text automatically the reflection will be changed let's add also shadow we can make another copy bring it under the text shadow by pressing control key just position it in this way since it is a shadow it will be black hit enter the shadow layer is selected click on create new fill or adjustment layer and using exposure we can make it black under exposure here we have offset and gamma correction if we we'll move this slider all the way to the right side it's got black but you can see it is affecting the entire canvas so here we can click on this button click to clip the layer so it will affect only that specific layer go back to the layer palette and here is the adjustment applied on the shadow layer and it is clipped with that another thing we can do we can apply filter the regular filter is destructive but if you will apply filter on smart object the filter will become smart filter let's try to apply filter on the shadow the shadow layer is selected go to filter blur and simply add a Gaussian blur that is fine click OK we can adjust the opacity so this is how we have a shadow since we apply the filter to the smart object so here we have smart filter detail anytime we want to make some changes in this filter we can just double click here and adjust it again but the same filter once you will apply to the regular layer you will not be able to get back the filter detail in the layer the way we have in our smart object if the filter is applied to the normal layer only using undo you can bring back the changes but under smart object photoshop will add the option that we can change and update the filter detail anytime so here we have shadow reflection and the text since the shadow and reflection is duplicate of the original text now if we will change this text everything will be changed let's try this is the text we have double click and instead of yn tutor i will add e-learning if the text is exceeded you can click on the crop tool and click now the canvas is extended click and drag so this is how we can match the canvas with our text size using crop tool click or you can press enter control s save it and close before it was yn tutor now it is e-learning and you can see photoshop updated the detail in the reflection and shadows as well so these are the few example of smart object smart object is very useful but keep in your mind once you will convert layer into smart object the document size dramatically it will be increased if your file is in kb it might go in mb so if you feel it's really necessary you can convert layer into smart object and work with that but the more smart object you will add in your document the bigger the size will be 
try to open the similar images and practice smart object using all these three methods. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you like this video, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and click on the bell notification so you will be notified every time I upload new video. Thank you.